Hello everybody, Vince Horn of Buddhist Geeks here and I just want to give you a little bit of an update on where we are with the Buddhist Geeks Farm Project as we enter into spring 2020 and the great pandemic of 2020. Um, so yeah, we've been uh, at home, my wife Emily and I, our son Xander, for the last month and um, you know this is like a home retreat kind of the way we're thinking about it and it's not as um, the isolation of it is not as severe as say like a month or two month or three month silent retreat I'm finding so I'm grateful to have had that experience of really um, intense isolation and silence because you know I know that this is well this is challenging um, and, and difficult um, it could be much more challenging on that front and while it is highly uncertain you know there's a lot of uh, anxiety and tension around not knowing um, what's going to happen and I feel that as well that um, you know we can still just breathe and there's something very basic about life that hasn't been interrupted at all in fact this is the natural cycle of life these pandemics they do happen I know they're accelerated by climate change but I mean this is part of life and so I'm reminded of that and that helps me reconnect and breathe and so does gardening um, growing things that's become my sort of therapeutic practice this year and um, you know the the silver lining in this pandemic for us personally um, I know there's there's not a tremendous amount of silver linings for us nationally and globally but um, for me personally um, it's been been really uh, welcome to be at home so much and have time to to garden and to, uh, to focus on experimenting with some of these systems uh, these contemplative homesteading systems you could say uh, ways of living that's more self-sufficient or collectively sufficient uh, ways of working on lowering expenses and becoming more ecologically um, uh, regenerative these are some of the goals you know as I understand them and see them for um, trying to simplify life and ultimately what the Buddhist Geeks Farm is is an experiment in is this sort of this um, this mindset this contemplative homesteading mindset how do we simplify pair back, um, become less dependent upon um, many of the centralizing systems which are showing themselves to be so frail in the face of um, shock and change. And so for me this is about resiliency, it's about developing societal resiliency, it's about developing contemplative resiliency, um, it's about developing presence in the face of uncertainty, this whole Buddhist Geeks Farm project and, and the practice of contemplative homesteading as, as I'm thinking of it you know now and, and so I wanted to give this update and, and it's a really for me it's a really joyous update you know in the midst of so much so much heartbreak and sadness and grief um, and I hold both of those you know as both being true but but what's so interesting to me about this situation and about what's been happening is that for us here at Buddhist Geeks while everything has been going kind of crazy at the same time for us we've been on the receiving end of a tremendous amount of generosity and support and one of the main ways we felt that is right as um, you know in the last several weeks right as the pandemic was starting the, the lockdowns were starting to to come into effect and everything was starting to kind of get weird uh, right around that time uh, I got an email um, seeing that someone uh, another person had donated to the Buddhist Geeks Farm Fund and um, you know a, a pretty big amount 50, another fifteen thousand dollars was directed to the to the farm fund so that brings us up to about uh, I believe it's about forty thousand in total um, to that we can use uh, that we'll be able to use to purchase land and that's the most important first step in this project is having land um, so that was a huge you know um, a huge deal and and thank you so much to the person that donated that's supporting us really appreciate it 
and um, part of what we've been doing now, and, and I'm going to share this in a separate update, is we've been just farming here at home, gardening, continuing to work on our systems. While we've been here also working and, um, and, and parenting, and our son is kind of at home, school, as, as it were, home life, family school. Uh, so, so we're just, you know, working with the conditions as they are, freaking out, and uh, some, and mostly enjoying ourselves. And partially because we're in such a beautiful place, um, it's, it's not, you know, you can see, it's not like we're shut up in an apartment complex somewhere. And I, I feel for the people that aren't able to get outside right now and be, you know, to get the support of nature because it's, um, it is so supportive, you know, to hear the sound of the creek, um, the birds song, and just to see all of the proliferation of life and beauty that's here, even in the midst of this chaotic time. So I just wanted to share kind of where we've been. And um, in a separate video, as I said, I'll share a little more specifics about what we're doing around the house. That'll be kind of our garden update. Um, and then in terms of where we're going, you know, we're just riding, we're just riding, riding out the storm and, uh, you know, just continuing to hold in mind our vision of buying a piece of land in the Western North Carolina area to prototype out a Buddhist geeks farm a small retreat center and farm that can provide for itself and with its excess can support others. Um, a place where people can live simply, where they can live on a very small amount, uh, live in a contemplative lifestyle, collective contemplative lifestyle. And um, that's, you know, that's our longer term goal. And as we do that, you know, part of our practice and what we're trying to figure out personally uh, is how do we do this, you know, wherever we are? Um, how do I do this here at home? Um, and this is what I'm talking about as contemplative homesteading. It's like, how do we live this lifestyle of simplicity infused with contemplative awareness? You know, not just the simplicity of external conditions, but the simplicity of internal and external together. Contemplative homesteading. How do we, yeah, simplify our housing? How do we simplify... How do we simplify our food production? How do we simplify our transportation and entertainment options? How do we live on less but not live less, you know? That's the question for me at the heart of um, the practice of contemplative homesteading. And that's something that I've been thinking more about in this pandemic and um, something that we'll be sharing more of through Buddhist Geeks as, as we, you know, as we f stumble along. And, find our way so um, thank you so much for listening thank you for your support if you're tracking the buddhist geeks farm project know that it, we're one step closer to our goal of raising a hundred thousand dollars thank you so much to the donor who supported us so generously in a time of great uncertainty and really that's been my experience of this pandemic so far as being a, a mixed blessing you know it's 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 obviously so much uh, pain and loss and loss of life and friends and family right now and a feeling of connection often but at the same time you know our society is really having to stop and and contemplate forced contemplation and you know I'm not saying I would choose this at all but um, that it's here and that we're going through it to me it's an indicator that that there is an opportunity to pause as one of my students recently said this 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 big pause that we're in is it's, it's an opportunity to reflect to consider how do we want to live how do we want to organize ourselves individually and collectively um and 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 along what values and along what ways of thinking and understanding life and i think to me this is the great question of our time how do we live and how do we live together? Um, and I hope we can continue to answer that in better ways, you know, ways that make us more resilient, more loving, more caring, more compassionate in how our society, the outcomes of our actual society. So let's keep working on that together.